um, idea about. Um, I have been, you know, contributing to the, as I say, to the Brusheski Research Academy because of its uh, contribution uh, and research on about even their culture and uh, history. So uh, um, I thought of uh, contributing to it, and, and I help from Aliabad and then work on history. And as I say, you know, uh, one has to um, contribute themselves their role. So I thought this uh, is a good, you know. Um, you know, outlet or a you know, platform to share our ideas. So this uh, is a very uh, good occasion for us to share our views and then others can. This is a short, short introduction. And um, having said these, uh, discuss these uh, historical events doesn't mean that it's just the whole and sole historical account. The more we will discuss, the more events will unfold, and the more we will analyze and then others uh, views will also be taken in view well, we, we were talking about the three ancient tribes of Bunza as most historians as, and most uh, uh, you know recorded history records uh, tell us of the presence of three influential ancient tribes in Bunza uh, one as I say the, the Dramatin present day Dramatin at that time that was called the Ramharag and uh, the, the Ramkapians. Now that was a case that is said to have a mythical, I mean, um, supernatural powers of uh, uh, a dead was persecuted, that was, you know, that underwent, you know, genocide. But there was a certain reason of uh, that genocide because in that age uh, of uh, thousands of years ago, it was no civilization as much as it we have today, you know. So it is said that they try to evade the tax to be paid to the, uh, the overall ruler of the GP of, the, of Gilgit, especially a uh, Trachan ruler. Said that uh, I have uh, Hunza is also part of my dominions, uh, so I I, I need uh, the tax. The, he levied the tax taxes, uh, and in between in Hunza from Sipurson to overall Hunza. Uh, tax of animals, uh, you know, yaks and then ox, oxen and then cows and then were collected as tax that was to be sent to Gilgit, to the central government, to the um, rule of a new, of a, I mean, a king there. Uh, so these tribes, uh, especially the Drum Tapkin tribes, and I have relation, broad relation, I'm not talking any negative thing about that, but as history is recorded like that, these were very powerful, very influential, and they had some uh, spiritual uh, and uh, mythical powers as well. So they tried to evade the tax, and there, that uh, ruler from Gilgit said, no, I get less of the tax animals from uh, Hunza. What's the reason? He had three uh, ministers, and one of them was prime ministers. One was called Bulchi Toko. He, he was responsible for, uh, you know, this... Uh, uh, tax matters levied on Hunza and on all other regions. So he said, uh, Toko said, and on other influential courtiers of the uh, Gilgit court said, no, there are certain uh, tribes, powerful tribes, they, they do not allow us to, uh, you know, get more of the, uh, you know, tax animals, and they keep some of them there, and we have to. And then we bring the tax animals, the, the portion, the, the lion's share, the cave, and then the, the rest of them uh, we have to bring to your court. So, um, so was the case uh, of uh, powerful, influential, and influential tribes of uh, Altit, as called, as I mentioned, um, uh, that was called Usenikus. And in Usenikus, uh, Usenikus, or in Brusheski, in the local style, we say Unes Usenikus. So that was also influential, and then another such uh, similar uh, influential tribe was the Hamachating of Ganesh. So uh, they were powerful. That apportioned the major chunk of the tax animals, and that didn't allow the tax collectors to, to carry the tax animals to, to Gilgit. And they said, no, we have to keep some of them here. Here as well. So this anger uh, enraged the Negar, uh, sorry, the Gilgit ruler, the Trahan ruler. He said, "No, I have to think of uh, ways to 
you know, overcome this issue because uh, I need the tax animals because no government since ancient times can run without any political economy. And so the tax is part of the political economy, so as is levied nowadays in the present context, modern context. So, uh, you know, he thought of uh, bring, uh, you know, sending his representatives. And he had uh, two feuding friends, a feuding means quarreling, two prince brothers. They were called Girkis and Maglot. They were always, you know, said to have in many, many historical uh, references as I have, you know, more than unread or uh, something like that. And I cannot, uh, you know, by heart learn because, but I have, I do have the page number and the book number, the uh, publication year, and I can give, you know, if someone challenges. So, so in oral uh, presentation, we cannot, you know, present all the page numbers, references. And so I do have. So uh, he said, no, I will send my uh, uh, grandsons, maternal grandsons, according to some, and according to some traditions, paternal grandsons, because they were feuding. Feuding means, you know, quarreling among them. So one was younger, another was uh, elder. Uh, so uh, they were called Girkis and Maglot. And one will ask, uh, one should ask, right, uh, why were they called with animal names? At that time, it was uh, called, you know, the nickname. And it was uh, thought to be a good omen to have some animal uh, names as well. Because in ancient calendar, we have animal months calendar. Uh, so uh, in that style, uh, they were called Girkis and Mogul. Girkis in Borishaski means mouse are right. And Moglot in Suna means uh, the mole, mole uh, that's called Nula. Uh, so uh, they were called, actual, their actual names were, uh, Girkis was called, uh, Saib Khan and uh, Moglot was called, uh, uh, the actual name of, uh, his real name was uh, Jamshed Khan. Uh, they were the princes of Drakhan family, Drakhan ruler of uh, Gilgit. So uh, they were sons of a certain uh, uh, Dulacha, Dulacha and uh, uh, the Ligushpur. And then that is, uh, is a direct lineage of uh, uh, Nonitam and then uh, Shatam, Nonitam, Lalitam, and of uh, three uh, princes that who were settled in Unza, but uh, they fled to uh, Central Asia, and one of them went back to the Drakhan court to Gilgit and took refuge with one of his uh, maternal cousins. So when uh, Kesar uh, Saga came, you know, became part of history and annals. So they, you know, they disappeared. And after some years, maybe centuries or some, uh, you know, many, a couple of uh, decades, uh, when the uh, Girkis and Maglot were made, uh, appointed the regular rulers of Hunza and Neg respectively, and the, the, uh, the prince is one of the descendants of those uh, fled, you know, princes was brought to Hunza. Uh, by a certain wazir called Kushabhutra, and his father's actual name was Chusing. He was also a wazir, and then his uh, son's uh, name was also, um, he was also a wazir, wizir, or prime minister, and then his son or the tree or in, in that family. So, a according to his historical records. Uh, a similar, there was uh, another prince of uh, Negar, whose name was Moglot, and then an animal name, and uh, so, uh, though they were uh, given the prince, uh, in the princely states of Hunza and Neger, so uh, Prince uh, Moglot wanted to have Hunza because of his, uh, you know, uh, you know, sunlight and its location, geographic location and geostrategical position, lying on the ancient Silk Road to China and then onwards to Europe and then Persia for your. You know, so he also wanted to get uh, Hunza. But during the toss, um, the, ta the task of toss was allotted to a, 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 a senior courtier of also a, a foster father of uh, that court of um, Gilgit, Drakhan. Uh, he was called Parcha Mamur Singh, uh, the great ancient uh, 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 forefather of the Parcha tribes of uh, Hunza, especially in Ganesh. They are also influential. They have a great historical background. And with Barcha Mamusing, there were also some courtiers uh, like uh, 
Adil Karim, Bhattu Singh, because they, his family, his descendants are scattered all around Punjab to, you know, that much. So that's called the Gilgit subdivision and Gilgit district as well. And the third one uh, in the influential courtier was uh, 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 really Ramal. His descendants are also settled in Unza and since mm -hmm. ancient times. So uh, they are influential at that time. And then this gave rise to the regular establishment of the princely state of Unza and so on. And uh, so the power relations went on like this. And when uh, Maglut heard of uh, Prince Girkis, his real brother, getting Hunza, so he thought of uh, uh, designing plans and schemes of uh, uh, having his uh, brother uh, assassinated with the help of his uh, uh, foster father, Shushiro Mughal, but a resident of uh, some says from Hansel and others say from uh, in an area like that, around that uh, area. So Prince uh, Girkis was assassinated through some uh, conspiracy. Uh, his brother said, uh, that, no, brother, come on, let's have a, a bird hunting in a game, uh, so Ganesh, uh, with the river bank. So he said, okay, let's have a game of, uh, you know, ducks and, you know, teal hunting. So uh, when the actual plan was to kill, assassinate uh, Prince Kirkis, of the, pr the first regular Prince of Hunza. Before that, you know, the, we will discuss separately. There have been, you know, uh, other phases. So he was killed and then uh, Prince Moglod said, uh, no, now, now I will have that chance and opportunity to rule, to rule Hunza as well, apart from Nagar. Even the, you know, Nagar sources say this corroborates uh, in the morning, I was discussing with a uh, historian from a colleague historian from Chitral, from Chitral Lane. He was calling. So the negative sources also, you know, corroborate this day. It says this is what happened. You know, this had happened in the past. So uh, we died. Uh, the House of Ayashkus, the, uh, the Ayasha family got the supremacy of Unza and regular. Uh, princely state and then after that uh, tw more than two or uh, more, more than two dozens of rulers have ruled Hunza till the time of me Muhammad Jamal Khan uh, the last ruler of the day 90 whose state was uh, you know mm, uh, yeah, that it ceased to exist because of the uh, land reforms and political reforms initiated by the uh, the government because he wanted to have uh, land reforms and he wanted to, uh, you know, uh, um, you know, annul all the princely states because uh, it was part of the history, as he said, and then with that, the uh, rule of Hunza ended. So in the in between these, there have been different eras and different phases of history, and you can discuss.